back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad you all found me again today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And today I'm doing what cozy mysteries are coming out in January 2022. I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm so excited. There might be two parts because there's quite a few. We will see how the time goes. And tell me which one of these that you are excited about that you already read the series, if there's a favorite on the list, anything that you wanna talk about down in the comments is the place to do it. On your way down to comment, please do not forget to stop and hit the subscription and the notification bell. The notification bell is gonna tell you when I put out new videos each and every single week. And the subscription button keeps my channel growing. All right guys, let's get right into it. We're looking at the January 2022 Cozy Mystery releases in three, two, one, go! The first book is called Show Me the Bunny. This is number 28 in the Melanie Travis series. This is by Lorian Berenson, and she is a special education teacher. 28 books. I have had this on my TBR for a while. Every cover looks so cute. Let me know if you've read this. Second one, I don't know if I'd heard of this series or not, but it went on my TBR, of course. <laughs> Shocking. So the book is called The Librarian Always Rings Twice. I'm going to put it right here. This is part of the first edition library mystery series. It's book three. This is by Marty Wingate. And it says the main character, Haley Burke, is the curator of the first edition society's library in England. And I think that sounds fabulous. And I can't wait to check it out. Next up, we have A Fatal Family Feast. This is by Lynn Cahoon. It is book number seven in the Farm to Fork series. I'm excited about just knowing that there's a new one. I am not caught up on this series, but I do enjoy it. It's one that I skipped around in, so I did do have it on my SAS list for 2022, which you will be hearing about very soon. The main character in this series is Angie Turner. She is the owner of a farm to table county seat restaurant. This takes place in Idaho. Next up, I was excited to see this one, although I read this series, I have not been able to find the one right before it, which is number five. So the new book that's coming out is Going Going Dead. It is right here. This is number six in the Perfectly Proper Paranormal Museum by Kirsten Weiss. I absolutely love this series. The main character, Maddie, is the manager of a <clears throat> paranormal museum. I do think I am not a big paranormal fan and I absolutely love this series, but I will say if you are a huge paranormal fan, you might not think that there's enough paranormal in the series, but it's because it's just the museum. That's the only kind of paranormal aspect. And I don't know if even that feels real paranormal. So I, I don't know if it'd be enough for people who love it, but I will say I think this series is so much fun and I was really excited to see that a new one was coming out. I was having trouble finding book five, but I am on the hunt. If anybody knows where to find book five, let me know. Next up, the book is Spirits and Sourdough. It is right here. This is book 10 in the Magical Bakery Mystery Series by Bailey Cates. Our main character is Katie Lightfoot. She is the manager of her aunt and uncle's bakery. This takes place in Savannah, Georgia. I think I read the first one in this series. This also has paranormal in it, hence the Magic Bakery. I do think this one has, a, from what I remember anyways, I shouldn't say a lot of paranormal because, again, I only dabble in paranormal. So for me, what might seem like a lot might still be light on the paranormal side to some people. So 10 books in that series. If, you're, if you like culinary and you like magic, you might love it. The next book we have is Murder of the Mansions. This is book seven in the 1920s High Society Lady Detective Mystery Series. This is by Sarah Rossette. It says our main characters, sorry, main character is Olive Belgrave. She is a high society detective in the 1920s in London. That sounds really good. I am a fan of the 20s, so this immediately went on my TBR. Next up, we have Hot and Sour Suspects. This is number eight in the Noodle Shop Mystery Series by Vivian Chin. I read the first one, really liked it, and I might try to sneak this onto my SAS list because there are a couple SAS 
series that I need to switch out for different reasons, just formatting and different things like this. So if this is one that I can find on audio, it's going, I think it's going to slip itself into one of those slots. The main character in this is Lana Lee. She is a waitress at her family's noodle house restaurant. I really, really enjoyed the first one and I'm excited to get back to more of them. The next one is a brand new series. I am highly anticipating the first book is called Up to No Gooda. Y'all know I'm gonna love that title. Ugh, I, I can't get enough of it. This is the first book in a grilled cheese cozy mystery series. This is by Linda Riley. I'm so excited for it. Our main character is Carly Hale. It says she is opening Carly's Grilled Cheese Eatery in her hometown. Oh! I can't wait to try it out. I know some people have been reading it on uh, ARC and they are loving it, which makes me even more anticipating this release. Next up, we have Honey Roasted. It is right here, of course, part of the Coffee House series. This is by Cleo Coyle. Our main character is Claire Cozy. She is a coffee house manager in New York City. I think I am about in, on 11 or 12. I will be getting back to this very soon. I know a lot of people absolutely love this series. I did hear that the publication date might get pushed back for this book till February. Don't kill the messenger. And I don't know if that's 100% true. All right, moving on. Next up, we have Crimes and Covers. It is right here. This is the fifth book in the Magical Bookshop series by Amanda Flower. Our main character in this is Violet. It also features her grandmother, Daisy, and they own the Charming Books Magical Bookstore. This also features a cat named Emerson who is very cute. We read the first one of these for a uh, knockout challenge at the first part of this year. I would like to continue this series. I just haven't gotten back to it. Next up, we have a three book problem. This is number seven in the Sherlock Holmes Bookshop series by Vicki Delaney. I love Vicki Delaney. She likes, writes one of my all-time favorite series, which is the Year on Christmas series. And I have heard great things from this series from my friend Storm, who is a big fan of it. She has her a fabulous YouTube channel also, which I will put in the link below. Check her out. She reads a ton of different genres, so you, she's one to really uh, make sure that you tune into. So what I know about this, our main character is Gemma and she is the manager, I think manager or owner of a tea room and bookshop. I'm not really sure much about it, but I've heard, like I said, great things from, from her about it. So it is on my TBR storm, I promise. Next up is one that I am really looking forward to. It is book three. It's called A Killer Sunday. This is part of an ice cream parlor cozy mystery series by Abby Collette. And I read the first one. I absolutely loved it. I might have read number two as well. There's another ice cream series that I read too. And so sometimes I don't know if I'm mixing them up, but I can't wait for this new one. It The series is fabulous. Next up is Murder at a Scottish Social. This is part, it's book three. It's gonna be right here. And this is part of the Scottish Shire Cozy Mystery Series. It's by Tracy Hall. And I put it immediately on my TBR when I, when I saw it. It just sounds like so much fun. So the next one I'm super excited about because I put the first one, which is the only one that was out at the time, on my books to start for 2022. The second one that's coming out in January is called Something's Guava Give. It is right here. This is part of the Trouble in Paradise series. This is by Carrie Doyle, and I can't wait to read the first one. I'm so excited about it. And to know that a number two is coming out very, very soon pushes me to want to start it to right away. Next up is the Mystery of Albert E. Finch. I'm gonna put it right here. This is part of a Victorian book club mystery, number three. This is by Callie Hutton and my friend Anita from Hearts and Whodunits. I hope I'm saying that right. She has just started a, vlog, a blog, a book blog, and I think it's called Hearts and Whodunit. I will put the link to her blog so you all can go and subscribe in the link below. She was reading an arc of this book and she recommended it and so it definitely went on my TBR right away. 
Next up we have tailing trouble. It is right here. This is part of a furry friends cozy mystery series. It's book two and this is by Laura Scott and it just sounds cute. Next up is A Deadly Deletion. It is right here. This is book number 15 in the Booktown Cozy Mystery Series by Lorna Barrett. I have read multiple in this series out of order. It is very up and down for me. This is just my personal opinion, of course, but <clears throat> the main character in this series rubs me wrong sometimes. So I think that that really determines how much I enjoy the books. There's been some that have been like fours and fives, and then there's some that just don't hit the spot for me. I will definitely continue it though. I need to go back and get myself caught up because like I said, I have jumped around in it. Next up is Murder is in the Eye of the Beholder. It is right here. This is number 14 in the Piper Ashwell Psychic PI Cozy Mystery Series by Kelly Hashway. Doesn't that sound fun? I think it sounds like fun. I might have to check that series out. Next up is Bake My Breath Away. <laughs> it's right here. This is part of a culinary cozy mystery series. It's called the Twin Berry Bakery series, book number seven. This is by Wendy Meadows, who I've read before. I think that's hilarious. I love that title. I like culinary cozy, so it definitely went on my TBR. The last one that I have in this video is the French Ghost. So I'm going to put it right here. This is a brand new series. It's called the Paris Ghost Rider Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Corinne Labom, and I think it sounds really fun, and I love the cover, and it went on my TBR. So that is part one of the January 2022 Cozy Mysteries coming out. Until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody!